tonight from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's the first weekend of autumn and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And a look here now at their fourth year quarterback. And frankly, this is the type of game that a great quarterback relishes because 0-2 on the road, everything's against him and his team. No one can expect them to win. Sometimes you band together real tight in that situation. And if he plays really well, they've got a chance to get that done. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The decision is to decline it and not give him the down back. They might as well have sent a skywriter above the stadium saying, we don't think you can get the first down against our defense by that decision. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. Call it a gain of a yard. And third and eight now. I mean, in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Purdy with it on third and long. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. That was Will Anderson getting home and finishing the play. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. No, oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. 43 yards on the punt, return of four. And the Texans will take over with a first and ten. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by a guy who has a couple years under his belt in the NFL, their third-year quarterback. And he's had good success here already this season throwing the football. Six touchdown passes in his two games. He's really got this offense playing with a lot of confidence, trying to establish themselves early as a Super Bowl contender. First and 10, it's Stroud. That one complete, it's Tank Dell. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Now this is gonna be a quarterback draw. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. The Texans at 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. The second down throw now from Stroud. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 more yards there and another first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Stroud now on second down. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. Back to throw, here's Stroud. And it's caught, and now this is gonna be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. They start on the ground with McCaffrey, and he'll get this only up to about the three yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. 
Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Purdy. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards that time. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. And they'll try to run the option here. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And the Texans scoop it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. On first down, here's Stroud. He'll fight his tight end. That's Waller. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Stroud looking to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Taylor. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Stroud. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. And Stroud now to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Touchdown, Texans! Take Dell. His second touchdown on the season. And the Texans post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drives seven plays in length. And the result, a Houston touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Purdy now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. 
Purdy from the gun. Finding room at midfield. And he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. First catch of the game there for Samuel, and it results in a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Birdie's throw taken in by Samuel. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Here now, second and four. Throwing here, Purdy. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 21. Purdy will look to throw again here. That's complete out left to Ayuk. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And he's got his man on the out route. So five yards here, five on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Here's Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Back to throw, Purdy. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Brandon Ayuk. Halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Moody good with the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Texans with the football here late in this first half. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now Stroud. Throw out wide is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Stroud on third down now. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. Stroud now on first and 10. That is caught downfield, it's Waller. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. The throwing again is Stroud. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Stroud to throw it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage 
has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Second and 10, Stroud to throw yet again here. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. That time a six-play drive. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. But no break needed. Let's get back to it. Week three, here we go with quarter three. A one touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game? There he goes, left side. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there with his second touchdown of the night. And the Texans come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 21-7. to Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Purdy looking to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt. Give him a good 10 yards on the return. And the Texans will take over. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. They're going to hurry back to the line now. First and 10, Taylor now. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Oh, yeah. 
Stroud will run the option left. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Here's Stroud. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. And now it looked like movement up front. If that's the case, that might end any thought of a field goal. Expect it from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. And oh, off the crossbar, no good. A sensational effort from that distance, but rejected by the bar. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was the crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Now Purdy. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And now this ball picked up in the end zone. Remember, this is a live ball. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And he will be out of bounds. So a clever idea on the run back with the field goal unit able to stop him before he could really get going. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there, you've given yourself a chance, you're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. And there's no play action here with Stroud. His throw caught right around the six. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A great play there. 36 yards. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add. On to their lead. The extra point splits the uprights. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and pick it up at McCaffrey. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. 
I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 59 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Purdy throw complete here to Ayuk. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 23, here's second down and one. Back to throw. Purdy, this one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Touchdown! George Kittle, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Niners have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Moody good with the extra point, and that cuts the lead to 28-14. A drive that time of six plays, and it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Play action. Stroud now. Short throw going to be caught by Waller. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Well, trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that personal foul, that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in. Yeah, absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger take over. Mistakes like that, not going to help you at this stage of the game. Up the middle, here's Taylor. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Caught left side, here's Dell. And out of bounds right around the 20. From the 20, here's second and two. Stroud out of the gun here. His throw caught at about the five. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Jonathan Taylor with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Texans are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Now a second and six. Shotgun now with Purdy. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. 
Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on, a big call coming on third down. Well, that's not one you see very often on Aaron Donald because we know he's not trying to do anything intentional, but that time, just a little too late for the officials' liking. On first down, Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. There's Purdy on first and 10. They'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Purdy now on second down. He's got Ayuk once again. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And they're going to speed things up here. Purdy to throw it on first down. Open man is Samuel, complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Purdy. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. And the throw there going to be incomplete. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. High throw, but the catch is made. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. Looking to throw. Purdy. Now he's got it. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brandon Ayuk. His second touchdown of the game. His third on the year. And the Niners are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. A great effort there. 47 yards. And the Texans have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, 
they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just at personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Out of the gun, Purdy. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to let it fly. 